please be sure to use support the creator code justical when buying things in the item shop. I will give a shout out to someone who can prove they bought something with it in my next video. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Yo, what is up everyone? It's me, Justical again, back with a brand new video. Now, I have nothing to tell you except for the fact that I am live right now for Zone Wars with viewers, so make sure to join us on Twitch. Link will be in the top of the description. Enjoy the video. Today I'm going to show you guys 7 advanced arena tips that you probably didn't know already or have just completely forgotten about. Be prepared to impress your duo partner and your friends. To keep the video of high quality and short duration, I'm first going to introduce the tip, then execute it and then give credit where it's due if applicable. If I didn't give a tip credit where I should have, please be sure to let me know in the comments as for some I couldn't find the origin. I hope you find them somewhat useful. Now before we go into the actual advanced tips, I would like to shortly address something that is crucial to a good arena session. Always make sure you 1v1 your duo partner or one of your friends if you're playing solos as a good warm-up is crucial for getting high points in arena. It is so beneficial to actually 1v1 your duo partner beforehand as this way you both get practice and it warms you up for the challenging 1v1s you're gonna encounter in the games. As an example, you can always see Cloaksy and Tfue doing the same before they go into their World Cup or custom games. So before you use the upcoming tips, make sure to properly warm up. Now the first tip is to use fake ramps when taking someone's wall with a heavy sniper. This usually catches a lot of players in arena off guard if performed correctly. The reason that this is so effective is because the enemy can barely hear where you're dropping and if you replace the wall before you drop then they will only hear you drop when you got their wall already. By this time they're still confused as to where you are and you can get a very easy kill while taking minimal to no damage. So the way you do this is very easy. First of all you place a fake ramp on one wall of the 1x1 then place another one on the opposite side. Take the wall with the heavy sniper and proceed the clappings. A massive shout out to the X2 twins as I saw this technique from them first so you gotta be sure to check them out. They make amazing content. The second tip is very situational but could be crucial to survival endgame. Now let's say you're turtled up and there's someone under you that has the pyramid under your feet. By the time you try breaking it to make it your own, they can already edit you down. To prevent this problem, stay in the middle of the pyramid as this way they will never have an opportunity to edit you down with whatever edit they make. After they're done trying for multiple times, you can quickly make it yours afterwards. Or you can just keep trolling them. The next tip is something that has recently been posted by a YouTuber called Destiny's Jesus and he calls it the ramp stutter. The way it works is that you edit a ramp and then quickly reset it afterwards so the player thinks they're shooting at you but in reality they're breaking the ramp, giving you a free shot. This works extremely well in arena as good players are usually expecting the edit to get quick damage on you which means you can bait them a lot with this technique. So to do this technique, edit the stair into a half stair and then quickly reset the edit afterwards to bait the shot. Your best bet will be to use scroll wheel editing for this but who doesn't at this point. Once again shout out to Destiny's Jesus for this great technique and here's a pretty neat floor variation from the X2 twins once again. The fourth tip is a way to place stairs and cones into someone's box through walls. Yes, you heard it right, there's an exploit right now where you can literally place stairs through walls. It is a pretty difficult technique to get right and you need to hit the exact right spot, but as soon as you practice it more and get more familiar with it, then you will notice that it will become easier over time. Just make sure to always put a ramp behind you to help the placement. Once you got it down fluently, it is a very OP thing to use as literally no one will expect you to place a freaking stair through a wall in their box. Be prepared to get called a cheater and get reported loads of times. It will leave your enemies 100% confused. Now here you can see me perfecting the technique and almost instantly placing a stair through someone's wall. Be careful though as you might get edited on if you're taking too long and not hitting the right spot. The counter to this is to quickly swipe up your mouse to place the stair over them and edit it for the kill. 
My fifth tip will be a variation from the popular trap kill that Cypher PK always uses, but this one works really well against aggressive W gears. Now most W gears always place walls around them when they try to take your wall, and most even place pyramids under themselves now, so you can't put a stair over them. The thing that most really over aggressive W gears forget, however, is to place a floor above them as they want to get the wall and kill as quick as possible. This is where you come in with the quick ceiling trap. It is unexpected by most arena players that didn't place the ceiling above them and might even work on some dumb World Cup semi-finalist. The second to last tip will show you that taking a grenade launcher to end game can be quite useful. Normally, you would think that you can't really kill anyone with it anymore in the final stages of the game, but when you have high or mid ground, you can use this simple technique to get some easy kills on turtling players below you. Most people forget about this, but using this technique will guarantee you some easy kills in stacked lobbies. Just rank death from above and hope that the grenades hit some unfortunate people below you that won't suspect it coming. Oh, and trust me, in arena especially, they will never expect it. Most of the time, they're too busy choking, drinking shield or messing up their tunneling. My final tip is to know when to W key people and get free kills. To make this quick, there are two very obvious signs of a free kill in arena. First of all, you have the players that immediately dive down coming out of a rift. This is most of the time a clear indicator that they are very weak and are just looking to get into a box to heal up. This is what we call panic rifters. They've been heavily tacked up and kept out of the zone, so they take their rift as a last chance to get to safety. Make sure to look out for these players and spray your AR at them when they are diving down. The second sign is of someone who is in a baller or game and turtles up immediately when you break their baller. Usually this means that the player is too scared to take on fights and that he is not confident in his own skills. When an opponent like this doesn't aggress you, always make sure to W key him and see if he can get a free kill. You can also do this to people who build giant bases early on in the game as they are usually the same. Here's an example I got a few days ago. I'm gonna show you something What's up B? You smart. I'm in your damn house, B! What's up, B? Now, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it informative. I tried to keep it as short and precise as possible. If you did enjoy the video, then please help me out by leaving a like on it and potentially subscribing as well. It would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, enjoy your weekend, have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video.